Oh, this is the wifey again. Hey, what up, girl? It's all good, though. Uh, we're about to ride over to Michelle's uh, mom's to go see the baby. Guess what? Um, we, walk up, we wake up, go outside. Guess what's sitting out in front of the house? A stripped out Mustang. Yep, that, that was crazy. You can hear Salim's uh, seatbelt is beeping. It's yours, too. Oh, yeah, show me. And we're not in Palato no more. What? Oh, Michelle left? What? Oh, no, 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 no. She took Lorenzo? Oh, no. The Fiesel, man. She probably came to my dad's house. I yeah, work at your mom's right now. We just went to La 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 um, Hacienda, yeah. Okay. We'll turn back around then. Okay. okay. Alright, see you. Love you too. Alright, bye. So well, we're in beautiful Menlo Park right now. It's where Salim's mother-in-law lives. We're not too far from Stanford University. We're pretty much uh, the tip of the Silicon Valley, and the weather's beautiful here. Hey, you have to stay. Pepper stay. Pepper stay. Pepper stay. Pepper stay. See, Pepper's the kind of dog. She starts to go crazy. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Is that the little nephew? Yeah. Hey, Lorenzo, you're so little. <laughs> you're so little. Hi, babe. How are you? Uh, he looks like he's relaxed right now. He ate a you, lot. You must have fed him a little earlier. Yes. This is Lorenzo. Lorenzo Elijah channel. This is my little nephew, Lorenzo. Yeah. Yep, and he's a beautiful little boy. You and your, your wife done created. The one and the only, the magnificent, beautiful little baby, my firstborn son. Yeah. It's good to be back out here in California with the family and seeing you in the fresh little addition, man. It's just like a blessing. We call him Miss Baby Sourneck, Rolenzo, Zorenlo, Lorenzo. He has a lot of names. Oh, anytime I'm around little kids, man, it's just it's a blessing to see the new little life and how fresh and like the little tiny fingers and toes and. I mean, it just definitely gives you a greater appreciation of, of, of life. And um, one of the things I was thinking is that, you know, you always hear those stories about, well, you, you don't always hear them, but you know sometimes you hear those stories about parents who um, may have done something to hurt their kids, and it's like you see something so precious, and you're like, how could somebody do that to a little baby? Because these are really our, our future and just need to be loved and cherished, you know? And every day he's growing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He's been sleeping this morning. He eats all day long. He sleeps. He goo-goos and he gagas. So you, um, I know that you and Daphne had, uh, kids on the way. Yeah. Um, what, um, do you, do you get mixed emotions, like, when you're around kids? No. Um, not necessarily. I mean, you know, obviously, with you having your little son and then us, you know, losing the twins and stuff, I mean... It, it definitely gives me a greater appreciation always, you know, always, but, um, I mean, you know, everything happens for a reason, and as tragic as everything was, I mean, you know, we can't control it, but, um, definitely just overly excited for you, and thankful that you were able to, you know, go all the way, and now you can experience, you know, fatherhood, and I can be an uncle, and me and Daphne can keep trying. He's fun. Yeah. So this is history in the making. Yeah, it is, huh? It's history in the making, you cute little baby. Mm -hmm. 